Hello and thank you so much for your interest in the Communities of Practice strand of AP Connect Year 3. The constellations we call them and a constellation is not a team that works in the same place all the time or a group or a clique of any kind. It's, it's people who come together around a shared energy and have a wonderful time working together because that's such an energetic and healthy and focused space to be. But then when it's over, carry on doing their own things. And we can be members of all sorts of different constellations at once. So you may have come to us through the constellation that is around UKFE chat. Um, you might come to us through Joy FE, through the FE research meets. You might never have been on Twitter at all, but you've heard about us from, from somebody else. Um, there's all sorts of things that draw you to wanting to be part of AP Connect. It is an energetic space. It is a lovely space where you will feel safe and welcomed, but also you will feel uh, provoked and stimulated in your thinking enough to want to do something new, to want to make a difference, to find some wriggle room, to find a space to dance um, and to be able to support your organisation in doing so. We're offering three constellations this year and there's a link um, just below which will show you, uh, give you all the details and also our policy for selection because we need to be utterly fair and transparent. The expression of interest form was incredibly popular and um, we filled all the places easily. So we want to be sure that we are choosing you for the right reasons and that's not about you personally. It is about the mission of getting advanced practice, getting the AP Connect energy and engine room of change into all of our further education contexts and settings, into all of the organisations that contribute to the whole. So the constellations we're offering on the community of practice start at B, which is a bit odd. A was a pilot last year, didn't really pull it off. So B is our bread and butter programme. B is the programme that colleagues or yourself may have been on either through the community of practice in previous years or maybe um, through one of the three day openly recruited um, CPD events. Everything's happening through Constellation B now. So this is where you learn to be an AP. You learn what advanced practice is. You identify your own quality improvement project, just a small scale project, um, but one which um, has the potential to make a, a difference in your organisation. And you will form part of an action learning set. So there'll be you and probably four or five other people who are going through this year together, supporting one another. And there's plenty of support from the team as well to make sure that happens and make sure that that's a really thriving uh, place um, of ideas and, and, and interests. So that's Constellation B. Happens pretty much online. It's a blended programme, but we get you together all be well. Certainly, you know, we will get you together at the start of the process, hoping that that will be a physical meet. We will get you together again towards the end of the process. So uh, a blended model for Constellation B. Then we've got Constellation C, and this is a game of two halves. So for those people who perhaps were bees last year or involved in one of the collaborative projects or a part of, you know, already part of a thriving advanced practice team or have been on one of the three day CPD courses, C is for you. This is where you amplify your work as an advanced practitioner. So we are going to be supporting and encouraging you to get involved in presenting your work in various ways, perhaps through podcasts, getting involved with Twitter. It's all about amplification. It's all about spreading the word um, of what you're involved in and telling the world what your organisation is doing as part of, you know, through advanced practice. So that's Constellation C and that is for B graduates. But, you know, sometimes there are people who come straight on to C because, you know, they're already doing the work full of beans and, you know, that, that feels like the right place for them. And then we have C+. And C+, this is for you if you did Constellation C last year. So you will have already been involved in all of that stuff and some amazing things came out of Constellation C last year. We consolidate that in C+. This is you as an agent of change within FE. So we expect you to be very public, very vis visible, 
getting involved in organising events and networks across the country, getting involved in producing reflective accounts of your experience as an AP. So we're taking things really on to the second level. In terms of numbers, we will recruit 100 people to the Constellations of Practice. In our heads, that's 50B, 50C, with C split fairly evenly. There'll be some, we can team and ladle within that. And if you apply uh, for a constellation and we think actually, knowing a bit about you and your work or what you put on the application, that that's not quite the right place for you, we will advise and we'll be quite, um, we'll be quite firm in that advice. We're three years in. We sort of know what we're doing, so you know we will negotiate with you around that because sometimes it's an issue of confidence. You don't need B really because you've already done B in some form, or you know you are operating as a thriving AP. But perhaps just need that confidence and support, a bit of coaching to get you to see the C might work, or or vice versa. So that's the constellations. Other things I want to tell you about in this this short intro video is that there is um. There's a maths and English flavour to um, AP Connect Year 3, which doesn't mean that suddenly we're all doing fractions, but it does mean that um, we're going to be looking for quality improvement projects for Constellation B, which are, you know, strengthening the confidence and capacity of the organisation to take maths and English more effectively into all of the vocational areas. So um, we're not particularly looking for maths or English experts. We're not privileging that. That's not part of our selection criteria. This is for all of us, but we're going to be offering, uh, really exciting for the first time, we're going to be offering maths and English ideas rooms, and these will be facilitated by graduate APs. So the ideas room is something that um, is one of the applications of a thinking environment. You'll hear more about this if you come on the programme. The ideas room is a space for you to work through your ideas around strengthening your organisation um, with regard to maths and English teaching. So that's a really, um, really exciting innovation for this year. Another we're thrilled, absolutely thrilled to be working with the Baymed Network and with Dr. Laura Chapman, known as Mole, if you know her from Equality Training. And they are offering 15 places out of the, the, the on the programme for people to um, take advantage of what we're calling it equalities mentoring. So if you put yourself forward for an equalities mentoring place, that means you will get the support of um, a mentor, a trained mentor from the Baymed network or Mole herself, and um, access to some workshops, which are just for the 15 of you, which the Baymed network and Mole are gonna be putting on. It's a great opportunity. Let's not, let's be right about this. We know, don't we, that FE is full of glass ceilings, despite the things that we say. We know that um, people of colour, um, people from different minority backgrounds, people with disabilities, and we're very clear that that is, you know, around uh, physical and uh, open and hidden disability, around um, mental ill health. We know that people don't necessarily get where they've got the talent and capacity to be. And so this is about offering an additional opportunity these places are likely to be highly subscribed. So it really matters what you put on your statement. We want to know that those 15 places are going to go to people who are going to get incredible benefit from them. And we want to be able to help and support you um, to get where you want and you need to be. So we're really excited to see the amount of interest in that. And we're really excited to see what you're going to be telling us about how you would make the most of that opportunity. Also want to mention to you um, advanced teacher status. As you know, um, advanced teacher status is something you can go for now without having QTLS. There are some bursaries available at the moment and we imagine that some of you who are coming on the constellations will already have applied to go through that process. The windows of opportunity don't totally align, but we are going to be 100% supporting those of you who have already signed up to the ATS 
and uh, or indeed QTLS and those of you who haven't signed this time but you're getting yourself in a place to be able to go for the next window of opportunity so um, we, we're working closely with ETF on that and um, we uh, look forward to be, being able to um, make sure that the work you do on AP Connect is going to count towards your ATS. And then finally I wanted to say to you that we're going to ask for your line manager's permission yeah, to um, come on um, AP Connect. And anybody who knows my work knows that I'm not about infantilizing anyone. So that's not that. One of the things that we have learned over the last couple of years is that sometimes organizations need support to be able to take advantage of the brilliant potential in their AP teams. We want to know that what you are going to be doing in your organization is going to be supported, you're going to be given the space to do it, um, and that's why we're wanting the sign off from the organization because there's nothing more soul destroying. And we have seen it a few times over recent years of people getting all enthused, having a fabulous, fabulous project to work on and they go back and it falls on stony ground. Of course, part of the AP's role is to influence and we, you know, we give you support around doing that. You, you learn how to do that on this program, but there needs to be a little bit of fertile ground, doesn't there? So getting your application signed off, that's what it's all about. Anyway, all of this is in words somewhere. You can follow the links through from the uh, application form. Take your time. Um, we want you to be sure that this is right for you and that you are following the pathway that's right for you. Remember that this is not our only um, offer on AP Connect Year 3. We are still running those three-day CPD opportunities that so many of you have um, benefited from over the last couple of years. The difference is they're happening in-house. So if your organisation is interested in hosting one of these, get in touch with Joss um, and she will, you know, she will talk with you about the process for putting yourselves forward for that. Similarly, we've got a new venture, um, which is three standalone modules. Um, again, where we have seen from the evaluation that there's a need for more input. We've got a module around using the thinking environment, one um, which is around developing um, observations um, and a third, which is for managers leading an AP team. So i um, really excited to be working with Dr. Matt O'Leary and Joanne Miles on the last couple of those. So again, you will have um, expressed your interest in those and um, bookings open up for them via the ETF website, um, I think at the start of September. But we tweet, we put a lot of noise out about this stuff. So um, keep posted. And if you've expressed your interest in any of that, we'll be getting in touch. And finally, yes, so it's hard to imagine now as we, you know, coming to the end of July, um, look back a few months and you know, we couldn't imagine being where we are now, but we very much hope to be getting people together in March for a, a national conference, which will be um, physical and digital. Um, so if you, again, if you've expressed your interest in that, we'll be getting in touch. That's a lot. Feel free to listen through again if you can bear to. Remember, all the information is written down and we're only a tweet away. See ya.